He's the smoldering vampire on CW's Vampire Diaries. And today, Paul Wesley is sinking his teeth into other things. And he's with me today in the AOL studios. Hi. Hi, Paul. <laughs> Thanks for having me. So, uh, you are a smoldering vampire. So, that is, that's not self-proclaimed. <laughs> that's your, you I, gave me that title. I do, I think you're smoldering. The guy on my show, um, the my uh, counterpart, Ian, we call him a smolder, smolder holder. Is so he... he's the smold, smoldy, they call him Smoldy Pants, actually. He's more Smoldy Pants than you? I, I think that I'm gonna go ahead and give him that title. So it's the Vampire Diaries. Did you ever keep a diary? Um, no. No? Um, not really. You That's, had a bunch of sisters, I, right? I, I, I did. I grew, up with, well, I grew up with one sister, and then by the time I moved out, my parents had, I guess like two years before I moved out, my parents had a second set of kids. Wow. Yeah, same parents. They had, I have like two little sisters as well, but I grew up with one older sister. Um, I don't know if I had a journal. I had a, um, I, anytime I ever like write thoughts down, it's yeah. usually on some like loose piece of paper and then I end up losing it. So I don't have any like diaries, so to speak. You didn't get into her diary? My sister? Oh, yeah. So absolutely. Oh, I did. good. Yeah. What'd you read? You don't want to say. I don't want to say. <laughs> <laughs> Things that at the time I thought were, were so damaging and yeah, now right? I'm like, oh, big deal. <laughs> There's hot vampires all the time okay. in movies, on your show. Mm -hmm. Where's like the ugly vampire that eats like Cheetos in the closet? Uh, Is well, there any of those? I'll tell you exactly where Please. it is. Please. You should rent a movie. Do people rent movies anymore? I guess you should download a movie yeah. called um, Nosferatu. Really? Um, yeah, it's an old school vampire movie and the vampire is so disgustingly ugly. <laughs> and that's the way that, that vampires were originally the idea of the vampire was conceived. And there's a uh, Willem Dafoe film called Shadow of the Vampire, where he plays this really disgusting. They were ugly like, at first. They'd never cast him on the CW. Right. Yeah. How did they become sexy? The I don't know. On the CW, everyone has to be of a certain, like, you know, aesthetic. Um, even like when I was uh, casting my episode, I was trying to find like townspeople or whatever. Right. And I would, they would bring me in like, the townspeople, and they all were like stunningly gorgeous. <laughs> well, like, a hot vampire it? only wants to eat a hot well, vampire. I guess so. Or, or, suck or, on or, one. or rather, a viewer would only want to watch a hot vampire <laughs> eating a hot, you know, victim. It's so much effort to get in front of the camera and be successful at that. Right. Why do you want to go behind the scenes and deal with all the nonsense? It's actually. It's hard work. Well, it is. It's incredibly hard work, but like, I, I can show up with a baseball cap and, oh. and a hoodie and I don't have to show up an hour early to sit in makeup. For me, it's something I've always wanted to do. What'd you love about it? What Were you fulfilled by this experience? You yeah, do, incredibly. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and I, it's something I plan on, you know, it wasn't for me, it wasn't just like a one-time deal, you know, it's something I really want to continue doing. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I don't know, I've always, I've always wanted to do it. It's, it's always something that I've, that I've wanted to do. It's just an, it's an incredible opportunity because I, have a relationship with the producers and the network, and so they, they let me do it. Um, otherwise, I don't think it's easy to break into that mold. No, like, to I get don't on think the TV so. director, you know, list is it's a very difficult thing. So <laughs> you have a friend Caroline on the show Correct. that all the fans want you to get with. Not all the fans. Well, I'm hearing a lot. But a but a but a, a certain percentage. Stefan, hey. Hey. Is everything okay? Well, you know how sometimes you feel crazy and you call me and I tell you that you're not crazy even though most of the time I am. Well, I need you to tell me that I'm not crazy. Uh, no promises. <laughs> I was walking to my car, and I nearly got plowed over in the middle of the street because I was having some vision of Elena. I take that back. Actually, you're not crazy at all. I do these vampire diaries conventions, and sometimes they ask me, they're like, um, you know, they're like, what do you think of um, hooking up with Caroline? And then like 50% of them will start booing, and then 50% oh. will start cheering. So it's actually a mixed bag. Um, but uh, yes, what about her? Okay, What's well, I want to know if, I know, what, so get to the point. I want to know if uh, men and women can really be friends, because the story is they're just friends, uh -huh. right? That's a good question. I, um, I mean, we're friends. What was that like when Harry, yeah. wow. I don't feel uncomfortable, like we have a lot of sexual tension. There You're kind of breaking my heart. <gasps> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I didn't mean to break your heart. I, uh, um, <laughs> that's a good question. What was that movie? When and Harry when Harry met, met Sally, Sally. yeah. yeah. Um, you know. I think men and women can be friends. Really um, be friends. I think men and women can be friends. But I think that, this is quite quite a philosophical discussion. I know, I like but it. But I think that there's usually one individual in the friendship that may 
potentially take it further if given the opportunity. I think. Yeah. That's my little theory. And I think it's usually the man. You're, it's usually the man in right? every instance. Yeah. The men, men are always the ones that-, that They are, always want to blur the line. They, they want to blur the lines. So right. They have no tact. <laughs> <laughs> no control. No control. <laughs> now, I saw on Instagram, you have a cat. I do. And your cat's name is- Cat? Very original, yeah. That's well, like your I, mother naming you person. Which would be, I wonder if there's somebody out there named person. I know. There must I be. I there is. Um, person child. O'Reilly. Child. Yeah. A child, child. Um, no, it was, uh, it's, uh, you know, I just feel like, uh, I guess I'm making a statement against um, humanizing cats. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I just. Sit I, down, cat. I, 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 I named the cat Whiskey. First, okay. Because it has long whiskers, and I also like drinking Aww. whiskey. Um, but then it just seemed cheesy to me, so I went back to cat, and now it's just cat. And cat, I, I feel good about it. Maybe if you spell it with a K. No, you, no, okay. Because then it's confused with Cat okay. Graham, the, the the actress on my show. Oh, I, I didn't even think of that. Well, well, I like I like cat then. Thank you. Your show, Vampire Diaries, is on Thursday night. Correct. At what time? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. on the CW. And for more videos like this, check out AOL.com. Thank you. Thank you. Will you take a selfie with me? Absolutely. With a smolder.